morning. Uh, the glamour of van life uh, while going to bike races. So um, I'm here in Scranton, Pennsylvania. I'm here for the Electric City Classic, which is a uh, it's a two-day event. It's a crit, a ten-turn technical crit, and today is hill climb competition. Not always, but often when I don't know where to camp. Um, unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of Walmart, but I love their parking lots. And uh, they're very f van friendly, because uh, they know that, you know, a lot of people that camp go buy stuff at Walmart. <laughs> so I'm not the only weirdo camping at Walmart. I found another one. <laughs> uh, I always feel weird camping at Walmart. Yeah, I, I've only done it a couple times. Yeah, no, I do it all the time. Oh, really? Jurgen. What's nice to meet you. I'm Scott. Scott? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me see if this is on. We're on. All right, cool. So have you done one of these before? The hill climbs? Yeah. No, never. How did you find out about it? Uh, when I was signing up for the crit. Oh, you did the crit yesterday? Yeah, yeah. What class? Uh, pro. Pro one, two? Yeah. Uh, you may have seen me for a little bit because I didn't finish. Oh, yeah. But, uh, man. yeah. So, how do you do? How do you do? Um, I think I was like 10th. 10th? So, but I made a couple of mistakes. Dude. So, yeah. I was pretty disappointed, actually. Yeah. I, given the circumstances. What was your average speed? I haven't, I haven't looked yet, but know. it was fast. It was fast. Because right? the, the turns, you didn't really have to break at all. Yeah. So, you could just pedal through everything. So, everything was just so fast. Yeah. You know, it was kind of like a fixed gear race a little bit. Yeah. You could just pedal through all the it felt really like the turns when I first rode it, they looked technical. Yeah. But they felt good. Yeah. Like they weren't like you didn't have to touch your brakes much no, stuff. You just kinda just, coast a little bit and then just watch out for the potholes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. Um I was telling Scott that nobody watches my YouTube channels. Maybe because of Scott being in this video it will change. Because he was number one, like he had the number one. Like, apparently really fast then. Because you don't get that plate. Yeah, I was like predicted. Predicted to win. Predicted. Yeah, whatever that means. Yeah. Yeah, I always predicted to not do well. <laughs> and <laughs> guess what? I didn't do well. So yeah. we just checked out our van, which uh, I'm sure you guys have seen. Well, I guess you haven't seen it because nobody watches my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, but I wanted to show you how a real cycling pro uh, sleeps. So let's go check out his rig. Um, yeah, we spent last winter building this thing out. And uh, this is where Scott lives. <laughs> where I stay occasionally, not live. No, I know. <laughs> I know. But you know what? So, I mean, it's like what, $120, $130 for a hotel room? Yeah. You can't get anything cheaper than that. So let's see what we got here. Why don't you give me the tour run around? Well, I've got a cot with a. Uh little like mattress topper for my dorm room okay with a sheet on it sleeping bag pillow all my so shit you got, is all over the place you got the bike <laughs> with the wheels in there yeah so the bike just sleeps right next to me okay and then i got plenty of room underneath to put stuff but you got a cooler yeah cooler and bathroom you got nothing oh. you're screwed got the walmart. you got the walmart right <laughs> see that's you know i don't like walmart but i love that parking lots right <laughs> i really do so what do you got? The Odyssey, Honda Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of station wagons. Always and been. I, and then this, the seats, like there's seats right here. So if I need to put people uh, in, there, I can just flip okay. them up. And then obviously there's plenty of room underneath the car to store crap. Dude, that looks comfy. It was comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Can you bad. make it dark enough in there? No, that was like the only problem. I have an eye mask. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. Don't have, I don't have like sh like shades for the windows yet. All right. I'm not that advanced. Well, I'm very happy that I met you here. Now I don't feel like such a weirdo going to parking lots. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the road? No. Is yeah. it steep? I drove up that yesterday. It's horrific. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'll be heading over there soon. Yeah. We'll see how many people do it and see how many heats it is right. or whatever. Good luck, man. Yeah. Thanks. You yeah. too. I just finished breakfast. Um, I got the best parking spot because I came early. So I'm in the middle of the climb here. Um, I got a speaker next to me, so that's maybe a little bit of a, you know, my eardrums are gonna blow out. Finished at the top, started at the bottom, 
30 seconds. I'm debating on cross bike, road bike. I don't know. I think in cross bike so I can clip in fast or I don't know, a little bigger tire for the cobbles. I don't know. We'll see. got going on here what did I sign up for yeah so this is gonna be a uh, basically a hill climb tournament so it's a little bit of a Kieran race and a little bit of just an uphill time trial merging that stuff together um, and the climb itself is really cool it's just like three part pitch so I'm really excited for today because it also finishes on cobbles okay so we got basically the finishes up there right so we got yeah. the cobbles and um, how long is this whole segment? So this segment is super short. Um, Strava says it's 0 0.14. Um, the GIS data says it's 0 0.2. So, you know, basically that's the deal, right? It's Times? Like how long is it gonna take? I did it in 35 seconds. 35 seconds. So right. I think the riders like uh, Scott McGill will probably do it in under 30. Yeah. Um, it's Scott it, is who I met, I think. That's right, yeah. The Scott, earlier this morning. Yeah, yeah Scott, he was my neighbor. Yeah, Scott's your neighbor. <laughs> yeah, he's pumped. And, yeah, and Scott started number one position yesterday on the grid. I'm really thrilled to have him here, man. It's really cool to have a rider of that caliber like coming yeah. out and helping us get something like this started because there's not really anything like this here on the East Coast yet. As far as rules go, Road bike, cross bike, what can people do? I've got it set up as a rung what you brung situation right now. Gears, so, no gears, whatever you feel yeah, like is the pretty fastest? Much whatever you think is the fastest. Okay. Um, and I also set it up as an open tournament, so no category restrictions. So maybe we'll find somebody that doesn't have a USA Cycling license that's just like super fast and can right. turn it up. Awesome, man. Well, yeah. I'm going to call you Evil Genius for now. <laughs> we'll All see right. what happens there. Have a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Erica. Okay, you are going for placings, not for time. All right, so it's not a timed event, it's a placing event. Second. What? Yeah. It's you? Yeah. On the shirt? Yeah. How awesome is that? Intense, intense. That cowl section, you really have to do it seated. Pick the right gear out to start, but oh man, it was a lot of fun, but whew, legs yeah. are feeling after this. I'm not sure what I got for, for the second heat, but. Any changes for the second heat? Uh, no, just gonna see what the legs, how the legs respond, cause. <laughs> thank you, thank you, you too.
Morgan in the fourth, running across the line. Gino Hill of and Ronnie Atkins to the corner from DS Yellow. That, ladies and gentlemen, is now going to run a real time tournament right here on our street. Please welcome Emma Dash. Welcome Vanessa Romano! Welcome Olivia Ray! Ray studying performing arts at the Savannah College of Art and Design coming up to strength in this weekend. Please welcome Scott McGill! a little shorter than what the deal is used to, but he's still put on a great show. Hey, hey. so! <laughs> WSLB presented with some points on Let's Go product. Arms up, gentlemen. Congratulations on your ride. Good job, guys. Our stuff hanger, custom by Daniel, presented by your big daddy, King Dad. We also have our custom winner's jersey presented to Second. Second. Win the first. And next year again? Yes. Yes? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what's the deal? Crit? Hill climb? Yeah, crit, hill climb. Both of them. I think that's perfect. What's more fun? Uh, the hill climb is more fun. Because it's shorter? <laughs> no, because we're not crashing. Ah, uh, no crashing. Well, wait a second. I thought somebody crashed on <laughs> Oh, but that's your own fault. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Third climb is over. I did pretty good. I uh, won both of my heat runs and got to the finals. And then I kind of, I needed like a little more recovery time. And I blew up. Ended up fourth. But I got to give the hangers to all the winners. So, plus spectators were awesome. This is a great, great event. Not really climb. Ah. Come on, man. Next year, this thing's going to be big. So sign up for this thing, it's awesome.